Okay, welcome to this video. Uh, today we are going to make something collide with something else, a wall, so it will basically shatter. Um, this is good for still pictures, but you can use it for animations too, to make it uh, something look very epic. Alrighty, uh, I already have a wall exported, so I'm just going to uh, export that. This is called the SM Wood Wall. It's uh, in the, the military section of the props under environment. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's shade this smooth. I don't really like these smooth thingies, so I'm just gonna turn on auto smooth. Awesome. Um, the first thing you wanna do is go right into edit mode, press P by loose parts and go out of edit mode and as you can see you have everything separately yeah you have everything in a separate way okay awesome you want to make a plane uh maybe shove that like right over there awesome and oh, hide that plane <laughs> maybe you shouldn't add a plane yet but um but as you can see, if you select all of these, uh, these have the origin right here, and that's not what you want. So you just want to select everything, and go to Object Set Origin, Origin to Geometry, and now you can just move it like that. And uh, yeah, uh, that's quite important actually. Okay, no, we still don't want to use that plane. Uh, we want to uh, grab this or just this that might be easier uh, add a rigid body set it to active not animated maybe two kilograms I don't know what you want I like to set it friction at one often uh, because yeah it's not really a, a slippery object it's wood okay uh, that's not really important sometimes it doesn't work which I don't know why the activation let's see it works right now it's weird sometimes it doesn't work um okay let's go select all of these object rigid body copy from active and as you can see they all have this rigid body now and they don't do anything because there's nothing colliding with it okay we're gonna add a quick sphere to just demonstrate what happens if you make uh, it collide with the wall we're gonna add a rigid body the passive and animate it that's important uh, you don't really have to do anything else except if you want to animate the ball later but we're just gonna use this as an example. Just click this. Uh, you can you can insert a keyframe, but I don't know. I just like it like this. It's way easier and quicker. And just like that, awesome. The ball moves, and nothing happens. Okay, so uh, the only thing I had to do was uh, the ball was going a little bit too quick, and it was was actually wait. I'll show you. It wasn't really reacting. It was just phasing through the thing as you can see it doesn't actually touch the the wood so I had to uh, put that keyframe a little bit right over there and as you can see it reacts to the wood now awesome boom uh, now we can activate this plane and add a passive uh, thingy and as you can see it glides with the ground now boom awesome but for some people this might not be enough and you want to go all crazy with with, with oh god damn splinters and more of that kind of stuff so um what you can do by the way uh, you can use this for animation and uh replaces this with an actual character uh and just add, add a, a rigid body to the character uh that would be pretty awesome. Uh, I'm going to use that in the upcoming 
for my upcoming projects. Okay, but uh, we want to see splinters, maybe two planks, just completely dead. So uh, what you might want to do is subdivide. Uh, we're gonna use these two planks, subdivide them a little bit. It's not really necessary, but I like to do that. And we want to go. Trust me, you want to go draw on it. <laughs> Uh, this is the best, for me, the best way of doing it. Uh, what I'm talking about is quick effect cell fracture. And as you can see, this basically turns the, uh, the plank into multiple pieces. Oh. Um, and yeah, this is very handy for if you want to uh, animate those pieces to actually splinter like that. But if you just do that right away you s you'll see uh this is not really pretty it, it, it looks like it's brick almost because um everything is so random but we want to make a point of impact so we are just going to undo that uh grab this pencil and select surface and the ball is going to impact right around there so uh, you want to make a circle, I don't know, nah, well uh, there's a lot of ways to do this but I like it to do it like this, awesome, and maybe right there, right there, right there, right there, uh, just like that. You can do this a lot of ways by the way, it's, not re it's, it's really random, uh, and it's going to impact right here. So we're gonna use these two planks, by the way, uh, right like that, just awesomeness. And what this is going to do is it's going to focus the, uh, the, the all the all the uh, separate parts on the part where it's is mostly drawn. So uh, this part is going to be pretty bulky, and this part is going to be pretty. Sp splintery after impact so um, what we oh, what we're going to do now is select these rich uh, uh, quick effects we are gonna do the annotation pencil uh, you can increase this maybe but I'm just gonna leave it there because I don't really need insanely small parts just like that Awesome. Delete that, the or, or the or original thing, and as you can see, um, it basically just impacts right here, the the ball. So, uh, by the way, it, it it's not locked. Uh, I mean, the rigid body doesn't apply apply to uh, the the thing, but we can fix that just by selecting them all and deselect that thing add a rigid body animate it start deactivate it awesome friction to one and go to object rigid body copy from active and as you can see they are all rigid bodies now boom epic As you can see, this can get you some really cool shots. Okay, we're going to do this one next. Just because why not? Object, quick effects, cell fracture, annotation pencil, okay. Just like that. Delete, oh, delete that thing. <laughs> and scroll a, bit, a little bit right there maybe so we can select these easily wait what happened what the hell what is that <laughs> okay that might be fixed by just awesome look at that yeah by the way this fixed itself uh, so that's cool um, 
as you can see if you just look at this this looks awesome this looks very cool it breaks almost perfectly uh, and if by the way if you want to the if you don't want these to fall uh, of or just not this one to fall just delete the, the the whole or just set either set it to passive or active and animate it uh, and that, that will basically do the trick uh, and you can do that with the planes that aren't affected for example these uh, you can set those to be and nope you can set those to be animated awesome And maybe set this one to be right there at the beginning and right there, oh, right there at the ending. Boom. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, that's going to do it for this video. I will uh, make this uh, a Fortnite-ish thingy. So, uh, here's that. And uh, I hope you have a great day.